Ayaka placed the empty plate into the trash receptacle. She imagined the plate and cup going on its journey to be cleaned and redistributed back to the Adventures Guild. The juice that she had purchased tasted delicious, made out of some kind of fruit that existed on the other side of the portal. It was mixed in with other ingredients to improve how much energy was inside of it. This made it not only refreshing, but helped her feel stronger. Earlier, she checked her status and saw that she was now level 3. There wasn't much of a change, but her body did feel a little lighter. I guess it's true that we get stronger by absorbing more of the energy, Ayaka thought to herself. She looked at the others who were in a positive mood, having also increased the levels, except for Tanaka. Darlina had earlier explained that Tanaka was at a higher level, so needed to absorb more. Starting at a lower level meant that it would be easier to increase the level, but it would start to slow down the higher it got. Would you like to keep eating? Darlina asked them as Ayaka came back to the table that they were all sitting at. The robot continued to stand off to the side. Masio shook his head. My stomach feels like it's going to rupture if I eat any more food. I can agree with that, Kawa said in a satisfied smile. Honestly, I'd rather just head to my room for the night and unwind. I don't remember the last time I just got to relax. Darlina nodded. I can take you to the nearest place that has rooms that you can afford. If you'll follow me. This time, could we take the stairs? Tanaka asked the robot. I feel like I need to burn some of these calories off with some movement. Hearing Tanaka talk about burning calories, Mizuki giggled. It's weird thinking that we don't need to worry about getting fat. Ayaka looked at her friend. Well, I mean, since we are usually out hunting monsters or doing something to finish a job, we're nearly active all the time. Is there a chance that we'll get fat and have to worry about going on a diet? Mizuki looked at Ayaka and the others with a cute smile. It took a moment to think about what Mizuki had said, but it wasn't long before she joined in to giggle with her friend. Ayaka shook her head. I guess that's true. Masio rolled his eyes. You girls and thinking about dieting all the time, he groaned. It's not our fault that guys prefer women that are not obese. Kawa stuck her tongue out at the boy. You think I'd worry about dieting so much if I didn't need to stay in shape? Tanaka shook her head at the conversation. Looking at the robot, how about we head out to where we'll be sleeping? I'd prefer to get to sleep soon so we can head back out to hunt for more horned rabbits. Darlin nodded his head. If you'll follow me, I'll take you to your lodgings. The robot made its way towards where the elevators and stairs were located in the middle of the floor. I wonder how long it'll be until more people are inside this place. Ayaka thought out loud. It'll be nice to be able to chat with others while eating food here. Seeing all the various kiosks with the food and the empty tables and chairs was truly a strange sight. With the lights on the ceiling and the appearance of a higher end restaurant, the fact that only they got to experience it was a strange feeling. <laughs>